From the fastest Formula One cars to casual moonwalking, engineers have long been the architects of groundbreaking innovations in and out of this world. But behind their extraordinary feats lie the hidden dangers they confront daily. These hazards, while not always obvious, can pose risks to the health, safety, and well-being of engineers. Here are the most dangerous engineering specialties and the occupational hazards that they face. Number 1. Electrical Engineering Among the many daring engineering specialties, electrical engineering stands tall as one of the most dangerous. It's a field that deals with the powerful forces of electricity and the complex systems that harness and distribute it. Electrical engineers are the wizards who work with electricity, designing, building, and maintaining systems that power our modern world. They create the electrical grids that light up our cities, the circuits that bring life to our electronic devices, and the massive power plants that generate the energy we need. But why is electrical engineering considered so dangerous? Well, it all comes down to the nature of electricity itself. The electrifying world of electrical engineering, where sparks fly and currents flow. Electrical engineers often find themselves working in hazardous environments, surrounded by high voltages, live wires, and complex electrical systems. Electricity is a formidable force that can unleash its power with a single mistake. One wrong move can result in severe electric shocks, burns, or even fatal accidents. According to CDCP, around 61% of workplace electrocutions in the United States happen in the construction field. Many of these accidents involve electrical engineers directly or indirectly coming into contact with live electrical equipment and wiring, like light fixtures, circuit breakers, control panels, junction boxes, and transformers. To prevent this, engineers must take strict safety measures. They should always wear appropriate protective gear, such as insulated gloves and boots, when working with electricity. Additionally, engineers need to be knowledgeable about electrical codes and regulations to ensure that installations meet safety standards. Number 2. Chemical Engineering Chemical engineering is considered one of the most dangerous engineering specialties, often mentioned in the same breath as electrical engineering in terms of the level of risk involved. Chemical engineering is all about making things through chemical processes. Chemical engineers are like the master chefs of the industrial world creating recipes and techniques to turn raw materials into useful products. Their job involves designing equipment, systems, and processes that refine materials and mix, combine, and process chemicals. They take the cool experiments done in the lab and figure out how to make them work on a large scale to produce things we use every day, from life-saving insulin drugs to delicious tiramisu. But like any great adventure, there are risks involved. In chemical engineering, things can get pretty hazardous. Chemical engineers can be exposed to health and safety hazards while working with certain chemicals and plant equipment. One major concern is chemical burn injuries. It's not just fires and explosions that pose a risk. The chemicals themselves can be hazardous. They can cause burns on the skin, trigger allergic reactions, and even lead to long-term illnesses through prolonged exposure. Some of these illnesses include respiratory problems and, in the worst cases, cancer. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, approximately 5,000 chemical burn cases are reported in the United States each year. Chemical burns can result from different types of chemicals. They can be caused by acids, bases, also known as alkaline substances, or even other types of chemicals altogether. To prevent chemical burn injuries, it's crucial to follow safety protocols and wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves, goggles, and protective clothing. Proper handling, storage, and disposal of chemicals are essential to minimize the risk of exposure. Number 3. Mining Engineering Mining engineering is a captivating and daring field renowned for being one of the most dangerous engineering specialties out there. It revolves around the extraction and processing of valuable minerals and resources from the Earth's crust. You see, mining engineers are brave souls who venture deep into the ground, working in mines to extract minerals like coal, gold, diamonds, and more. The very nature of their work exposes them to a multitude of risks and challenges. However, mining engineers are generously compensated for working in challenging and harsh environments. According to Indeed, the average mining engineer salary in the United States is $97,660. One of the primary dangers in mining engineering is the potential for cave-ins or collapses. Working in underground mines involves navigating through unstable geological formations, and the weight of the earth above can pose a serious threat to the safety of miners. 
The mining environment is often filled with hazardous gases, such as methane and carbon monoxide, which can be both toxic and explosive. There's also the risk of poisoning by certain ores that mining engineers encounter. Therefore, miners must employ sophisticated ventilation systems and gas detection equipment to minimize exposure to toxic substances. Number 4. Petroleum Engineer Petroleum engineering, an exciting and dynamic field, is often regarded as one of the most sought-after engineering specialties. It focuses on the exploration, extraction, and production of oil and natural gas resources from beneath the Earth's surface. They work to locate underground reservoirs, design drilling and extraction methods, and maximize the production of these valuable energy resources. While petroleum engineering offers immense opportunities, it also comes with its fair share of risks and challenges. One of the main dangers faced by petroleum engineers and workers in the oil and gas industry is the risk of fire and explosions. These hazards arise from the ignition of flammable vapors or gases that can be present in various stages of the extraction and production process. Whether it's well gases, vapors, or hydrogen sulfide, these substances can be released from wells, trucks, production equipment, or surface equipment like tanks and shale shakers. To mitigate these risks, petroleum engineers need to prioritize safety measures and adhere to strict protocols. They can implement advanced technologies for monitoring and detection, use specialized equipment to control and contain flammable substances, and undergo rigorous training to respond effectively to potential incidents. Number 5. Nuclear Engineering Nuclear engineering is widely recognized as one of the most challenging and potentially hazardous engineering specialties. Nuclear engineering is an intriguing field that involves the study and application of nuclear and radiation processes. It encompasses the release, control, and utilization of nuclear energy, as well as the use of radiation and radioactive materials in various sectors like research, industry, medicine, and national security. While pursuing a career as a nuclear engineer can be exciting, nuclear engineering comes with inherent risks due to the nature of nuclear materials and radiation. One such risk is radiation exposure, which is a concern when working with nuclear materials. Nuclear engineers and workers in nuclear facilities are exposed to ionizing radiation. This radiation can have harmful effects on human health, such as cancer, organ damage, thyroid disorders, or eye damage if not properly managed. There is also the risk of nuclear accidents. Although extremely rare, nuclear accidents, such as meltdowns or radioactive material releases, can have severe consequences such as the Chernobyl explosion of 1986 that claimed 31 lives and severely altered countless others. Strict safety protocols and measures, such as shielding and monitoring equipment, are implemented to protect engineers and workers from daily radiation hazards. Engineers in this field must design and operate nuclear systems with safety as the utmost priority, ensuring the prevention of accidents and implementing emergency response plans. Number 6. Mechanical Engineering Mechanical engineering is a versatile field that focuses on the design, development, and maintenance of mechanical machines and machinery. It is one of the broadest engineering disciplines and encompasses a wide range of industries and applications. Mechanical engineers are problem solvers who bring machines to life. They work on everything from cars and airplanes to heating and cooling systems, robotics, and manufacturing equipment. While mechanical engineering is generally considered less dangerous than some other engineering specialties, there are still risks involved. There is a risk of being struck by equipment, especially when heavy lifting is involved. Objects can be dropped, gaining momentum as they fall. Even a small item can cause significant harm when it falls from a height. According to government data, about 10 to 15 percent of fatal injuries within engineering environments are caused by individuals coming into contact with machinery. The good news is that most of these injuries are preventable, promoting a safety culture where employees are educated and trained on hazard recognition, safe work practices, and proper use of equipment is crucial. Number 7. Marine Engineering Marine engineering is a specialized field that focuses on the design, construction, and maintenance of ships, boats, offshore structures, and marine systems. It encompasses various aspects of engineering, including naval architecture, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and systems engineering, all tailored specifically for marine environments. Marine engineers primarily work in the engine room, where they are responsible for the maintenance and efficient functioning of the ship's engine systems. 
They are the architects and problem solvers of the maritime world. They design and develop propulsion systems, navigational equipment, and other critical systems that ensure the safe and efficient operation of marine vessels. Marine engineering presents certain risks and challenges due to the unique nature of working in and around water. Marine engineers often work at sea or in coastal areas, encountering harsh weather conditions, rough seas, and extreme temperatures. These challenging environments can pose risks to personal safety as well as equipment and structures. In addition to this risk, marine engineers are more likely to be exposed to high levels of asbestos, a hazardous material that has been linked to the development of mesothelioma, a serious and often fatal form of cancer. This risk can be encountered particularly in older ships. Marine engineers must take appropriate precautions and follow safety procedures to protect themselves from asbestos-related health risks. Engineering encompasses a wide range of specialties, each with its own unique risks and challenges. Which of these specialties do you think has the most risky hazards and why? Then watch this to learn which engineers are the richest. Thanks for watching.